start uh, let's uh, let's uh, build a scanner here okay so i'm telling you i have uh, i have used uh, tried to use other scanners as well but uh, charting is one of the most user friendly i have uh, you know found and you don't have to be a coder for this uh, i am a biology background student uh, and uh, i can do this anyone can do this okay so first of all you can put uh, here uh, so here you have a lot of stuff so symbol industry market high open low close volume percentage change so we'll begin one by one so what i want is to code is i want to uh, look for uh, 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 stocks which are above 20 rupees okay why because i don't want to sort of uh, let's say below 20 is not penny stock exactly but uh, most penny stocks are below 20 rupees okay so so my code would be latest close is uh, greater than equal to so you can see there are a lot of operations here equal not equal greater greater than equal to less crossed above okay so i want uh, stocks which are greater than equal to rupees 20 so i'll run this scan now you can see 1771 stocks are there which are right now priced at above 20 rupees if you see uh, number zero uh, all stocks uh, above zero you will see the total nse count which is 2000 stocks okay and charting scans only NSE stocks so that's a bummer because uh, BSC also has a lot of uh, good uh, you know uh, small cap stocks micro cap stocks but anyways 2000 is a great number to fish you will get great fishes in uh, this uh, 2000 as well okay so uh, uh, stocks uh, greater than equal to 20 I also have a small uh, market cap thingy where I want to uh, I want to scan only for stocks which whose market cap is above 1000 crore okay um, so greater than equal to 1000 and uh, so in here what you can do is if you depending upon what number you choose you will get like for example if you are sorry not 1100 uh, there are uh, so depending upon let's say you only want to scan um, uh, large cap so you can put a large enough number I don't know what the cutoff is for large cap but let's say 50,000 so if you run this now you see that only 101 stocks are here which means uh, this is now in the large cap category right uh, what do you, if you see that uh, let's say uh, which are lower than market uh, less than equal to 50,000 which means I don't uh, want to scan uh, large caps but I want to scan anything mid cap and uh, small cap range right so then market cap I want less than equal to uh, 50,000 crore market cap greater than equal to let's say 100 or whatever 10,000 you know now you will uh, you are in the category of mid cap and small cap okay so that is something now um, what I want is uh, above 100 so anything above 100 okay so these are the two general categories I use for my scanning purposes uh, I am okay with small cap very uh, micro cap as well because I'm a retail investor. I have uh, almost no money in the stock market. Uh, I mean, relatively speaking. Uh, now let's get into the uh, Minervini constraint. So Minervini wants uh, close is uh, above. Close is above. The latest close is greater than or equal to 200 day moving average. So how can we code 200 day moving average? Just write SMA simple moving average okay so here simple moving average how many days 200 days right so simple moving average of what simple moving average of the close you can change this if you like to high low open whatever but generally close is what prep people prefer okay uh, so this is exactly uh, what I did and let's uh, see from the 1700 names how many names we get now 760 so threefold reduction almost okay so now you see how your uh, fishing universe will sh shrink by using uh, this uh, scanner okay so next what Minervini wants is uh, so I'll just copy this he also wants the close to be greater than equal to the 150 day moving average okay uh, 760 something say 728 he also wants the close to be 
greater than equal to the 50 day moving average so 50 day moving average is a moving average which is gen sometimes called as the institutional uh, moving average because generally they sort of uh, they buy all i mean in a good companies they buy the 50 day moving average pullbacks okay so this is also a very nice uh, uh, you know uh, criteria to use so now let's see how many stocks we've got we've got 481 stocks just by basic moving average uh, scanner now let's add uh, some more complications to it so what does minervini say minervini says that okay i'm fine close uh, are all greater than these three moving averages but i also want this i want the 50 day sma to be greater than 150 i want the 150 to be greater than 200 okay which means that not only the stock is bullish the the momentum is also increasing all right so let's quote uh, uh, that so i'll just copy this and i'll say instead of close i will say sma the 50 day moving average is greater than equal to the 150 day moving average okay and let's run it not much of a change uh, I will say the 150 day moving average is greater than equal to the 200 day moving average okay so this is Minervini's um, uh, um, moving average uh, this one so here we see that 280 so you can see that uh, the full difference right we started from 2000 1700 700 400 abhi now we only have 280 stocks in our radar okay let's uh, but you know, it's, it's just uh, sorry about that. All right, uh, let's uh, build in some more complications according to Minervini, of course. So Minervini also wants that uh, I want a stock which is at least thirty percent above the all-time low. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure the 30% is correct or not, but uh, uh, I think, yeah, like, you know, from the, see, Darvax uh, wanted uh, the stocks to be at least double from the 52-week uh, low, okay? Uh, I'll quickly show that. Okay, so this is the Nicholas Darvax uh, checklist by Rohan. Uh, uh, stocks that have doubled from their 52-week low, okay? Now, Minervini's condition isn't this strict. Minervini just wants, I think, 30, at least 30% or let's say 50%. Okay, let's, let's, let's quote 50%. So, so how do we quote that? So, for that, what we can do is, uh, there is, uh, there is something called uh, min. Okay, so what, it, what we want is the latest close is uh, greater than or equal to so now here we need to quote the 52 week low okay so there is something called low so if you put low here and uh, not low sorry um, what is that min so what min gives you min gives you is the minimum value minimum value uh, over what over whatever you want so not latest in here uh, what you can say uh, is a uh, weekly and here you can say 52 okay so that means and here you can say low so here weekly 52 week minimum which means the minimum uh, 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 value of weekly lows which is the lowest uh, minimum in the last 52 weeks okay so okay what have we coded here is that close is greater than equal to the last one year ka low but this is not enough right what minervini wants is that it is at least 50 uh, percent more than the uh, weekly low so what we do is we just multiply this weekly low into 1.5 so now let's say if a stock's weekly low is 100 rupees for example minervini wants at least 150 right so then 100 into 1.5 would be 150 and your close is greater than or equal to 150 right so this is how we quote uh, that uh, that uh, rule so now if you run the scan 
from 228 or something the some more um, stocks are out okay now Minervini also wants that not only I want uh, a stock which is 50% more than the low I also want the stock to be around the highs okay now around the 52 week high is what uh, what it means so how do we uh, how do we code that again very simple so I'll just copy this I'll say latest close is um, greater than equal to weekly instead of min you just select max now what this will do is it will and and in not not low let's say the high okay so now what it's uh, giving you is the 52 week ka high weekly high okay now here we need to change this to so if we change this to one what it says is close is greater than equal to the weekly high which is impossible i mean not impossible but it will only give you the stocks which are at the ath now all time uh, sorry 52 week high now okay so if you run this scan you will see only raj rayon industries is at at the all time high right now so what we do here is we don't want at all time high we are okay which is 70% 75% of uh, the all time high okay so the multiplier i am changing it to 0.75 so let's say the uh, uh, 52 week high was 100 100 into 7, 0.75 would be like uh, 75 so anything above 75 will come in our scan okay so now we'll run the scan and you see from 200 and something uh yeah so almost all the scans uh, almost 206 uh, scans uh, are now in the criteria all right uh okay what else yeah so basically you have made the minervini uh trend template uh and you can see that uh, this uh, this is almost a tenfold reduction in the number of stocks you have to scour through out of 2000 you we have now 206 stocks now we can we can also uh, play around uh, with this we can say that okay i don't want 50 percent i want stocks which is doubled you know if you know david ryan and all these other guys they don't want to look at uh, stocks which are not doubled so at least so if you if you put the number two and say like if i want stocks which are around the all-time high as uh, a 52 week high so you uh, uh, change this number to let's say 0.95 which means 95% uh, of the 52-week uh, high. So now out of 206, you get only 35 stocks. Okay. So if you want to see, uh, may say kiss, uh, which one I will, you know, uh, enter. So what you do is you just copy this um, and uh, take it to an Excel sheet. You put the names here. You put the symbol symbol case side may you put your comma and then take it to your uh, trading view and uh, let's say so these are 53 stocks which you have to check during the weekend and uh, so TCPL is just breaking out of this saucer pattern uh, Revati has just broken out uh, of the 52 week high Honda power also has just break, broken out from this flag breakout um, yeah, the focus lighting is about to break out Lumex is about to bre uh, break out um, yeah, some some uh, not great names will also show up, which is low liquidity and all. So you, you just need to adjust the market cap from 100 to whatever your cutoff is suitable for you. Shanti Gears, good name. Apollo Microsystem. I mean, I'm 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 long on this stock. Just uh, just a side information. Um, Kirloskar Car companies are all doing well recently. Uh, RVNL is sort of forming a um, sort of flag. I don't know right so yeah so i i what i will do is uh, uh i will i will forward you the okay let's save this save scan what is this scan this is uh, minervini minervini 
trend template is what they call okay description you can write whatever and uh, what i'll do is i'll copy this and send it to you guys okay all right so you guys got the screener now 